Hello folks, Craig GSF and uh, on the travels again, we're off back up back to Costa del Sol. Now we're not staying in the same area as we normally do. Normally we stay in Montemar, but we're up uh, in the Hotel Bali uh, up in Benal Madna. That's not too far away from Bonanza Square, so there's lots going on there. So, uh, well the next stop it will be the, the going through check-in and the and way. As you can see uh, in the background, still working at the airport. Um, don't know how long that's going to take, but uh, uh, I see no difference as of yet. But uh, I'm sure that will come. But uh, as, uh, as as I normally say, onwards, and we'll uh, get some on their next stage. Right, there's the the joys of travelling as you're starting to head into the season. That's just all for the easy jet counters. Unbelievable. Right, so we're retired to the the. The lagon bar, and of course you have your your potatoes and your your pint. So uh, well, a, a stein or a two pint stein. Yeah, pint. Stop giving off about my pint. It's only a pint. It's a little over a pint. <laughs> so that's. <coughs> we'll have that before we get onto the flights. That's on the aircraft, and uh, it was reasonably uh, problem free getting through the airport. I bumped into a friend of mine, a boy called Doogie Beatty, who works for GB News. Uh, so that was good to catch up. It's been a long time, maybe maybe 10 years since we've seen him, but uh, it was good, good to catch up. But uh, that's us on board, ready to rock and roll. And uh, next stop will be Mount. behind us and they were a complete nightmare kicking your seat banging the trays tables up and down and uh, and roaring yelling and shouting oh man it was terrible um, but a uh, bit of a delay coming away that's, that's a do with the same kids because their names are similar and uh, they didn't know we had that uh, the, the right ones on the flight but we're here now we're in Bonanza Square so have a little look around so we're in Fools and Horses Bar and there's Derek's at Sinatra's and Niles. There's three or four levels to this, so we're on the top level. There's kebab shops galore. If you're if you're a hungry sort, you'll not, not go hungry in this place. Uh, but uh, in this, uh, we've got uh, a gila beer and it's two two fifty a pint. And I think I've earned that after those. Little little darlings that were sitting behind us. <laughs> right, this is a hotel. All seven floors of it. Uh, it loops around the back, and uh, we are way, way at the back. But uh, it looks quite big, but it's uh, it's not um, not the biggest you ever see out here. But it is big enough. So bed play a hotel bally. Right, this is a reception area, and. Uh, well, the recep reception uh, check-in was actually quite uh, painless, it was rather quick and efficient. Uh, you also have your two rib if you're in plan with two, eight, two eight. and then you have a, a guest service manager from, provided by the hotel. So, uh, that's a nice enough place and uh, I want to say friendly pleasant staff on the, the check-in. Right, we need to keep talking but this is the main bar area, as you can see the bar there. And you have to come through here to go to your uh, your pool, which uh, I'll just take a walk through. I'd like to say this is the main pool area, and there's quite a few sunbeds around it. Never seems to get too busy. And then you come around here. This is like the outside seating area, and you have a, a stage there for outdoor performances. Right, this room known as Lombok looks to be uh, somewhere where you watch TV or movies or whatever. Uh, haven't been on it, um, but I just thought I'd give you a look. Alright, this is a Graham's room. You've got a couple of vending machines on as well, which always helps. A couple of games, and then you've got the air 
Nerf Bear Hockey and uh, pool tables. Right, well, welcome to room 1705. Uh, we'll just go in. Right, as you come in, to the left is the bathroom. Just a little corridor bit. That's the bed. We've got one of the, the blankets on because it was it got quite chilly at night. Uh, you go on, there's a, a dressing table over there with no mirror, which was quite strange. Uh, but a nice chair. You have a mirror there, and you have a television. And this must be a single bed for when there's three and it's staying in the room. Uh, we have our little suitcase rack. Right, here's a funny one. Uh, it looks so. There used to be two doors there, but not now. So we have our our, uh, our shelves there, but there's a good thing. A nice little fridge, uh, keeping beverages cold for us. And uh, if you go across, you've got your hanging space here. As you can see, we have our, our stuff hanging. As you can see, I have a rather loud Hawaiian shirt. But <laughs> and any other suitcase is just living in that corner. And then you have a telephone. But uh, that's quite nice, and the the bed linen spotlessly clean, and uh, well, can't complain. Let's have a look at the bathroom. Okay, into the bathroom. So you have your sink, and this is, that's just as as is, nice and clean. Bathroom, bath is clean. You can see there's a little um, a little spot there where there's a chip come out of the bath. But not too bad. Oh, awful colour tiles. That's your throne, really clean uh, and your bidet if you want to wash your unmentionables. And, uh, and say, apart from the tiles, it's absolutely perfectly usable. And the tiles are just a god awful colour. Right, I've come out to our balcony and there you go, we've got a couple of chairs and table and quite a pleasant sea view since we're on the seventh floor. We can see plenty. Uh, it's down to the pool area there. Um, yeah, quite, quite nice. Right, this is a view from uh, floor seven on the the hotel valley. It's uh, this is just facing out onto the shore, so you have a look. Like. Um, for people that know the area, that yeah, is Castle Bill Bill. Yeah. That's quite famous, so uh, that'll give you a context of where it is. So you have the sea view there, and we're going to pan on round. Yeah, we've got the mountains up there as well. That's the San Fermin Hotel next to us. So it's uh, up what is uh, <laughs> locally known as Cardiac Hill. Uh, it's quite a, quite a steep hill, it doesn't run for long, but it is really steep. But uh, that's the view. Right, this is the restaurant, and uh, it's, um, as you come in, you can see it's quite an expanse to it. So this is the salads and the cheeses. And then you go down this side for the desserts. This is the, the evening meal. That chocolate cake is absolutely lovely, so we'll be having some of that. And then you have your ice cream. As you can see, it can be quite busy. Uh, so I'll see what I can do about getting uh, what sort of food there is there. But uh, we'll go on down and have a look. We do have the rolls for the soup, and uh, tonight um, they have French onion soup on. As you can see, with one of my favourites, so I'm not making a fast here. There's fermenter soup as well, uh, but French onions got me. Right now, you can pass the pasta and sauce. Some croutons for the soup, bolognese sauce, cheese sauce, a few pizzas, the veggies, I'm having some of those. Uh, those peas look lovely. Rose potatoes, halibut fish, mm, nice. Grilled tuna, grilled beefsteak, that's on my menu, I know that much. How you doing? How you doing? And the nice friendly staff, of course. <laughs> Hi, you. What's your What's your name? Hi, I'm Andres. Andy. Andres. Andy. N nice to meet you. I'm Gary. Yes. That's uh, nice to meet you. Just put this on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. Roast chicken. Still looking at the roast beef. 
roast beef with gravy, looks good, roast potatoes and the chips. And on down you have uh, the mayonnaise and the ketchup and the sauce and yeah, there's everything you'd want. Um, uh, just sometimes it gets a little busy but uh, at the moment it's fine so I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll go and serve myself but uh, that'll give you an idea what dinner's like. Right, that comes already stirred of course but um, I've taken a, a, a small slice of roast beef but into the bigger slice. It's really quite nice but there's a, the temperature's a wee bit not, not totally roasting. The chips and you can see I've, I've just they have um, I have a load of peas because I'm a big fan of garden peas. But there's a thing there. If you see this when you come in, this uh, vinegar, this vinegar is so strong. It's absolutely lovely. I've just taken it, and I'll go with my vinegar. I'll go with my peas and my chips. I know I'm strange, but sure, there we go. Okay, Terry has a, a roast, a baked potato, a halibut, a bit of uh, roast beef. Uh, the garden peas and how many sprouts have you got? Six. Six sprouts. <laughs> right, let's get a closer look at the dessert. Desserts. There's apples and oranges and uh, pears. Then you have custard. Looks nice. And roasted apples and um, melon. And then you got several types of yogurt. Go to the other side. Are you Aziz? Aziz. Aziz, ah. So you look after the pastries. Yeah. Oh, they're very nice. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. Right, on this side you have a Swiss roll, or Swiss chocolate cake, or caramel cake. Looks lovely. Uh, then you have a strawberry cake just down to your left. And then you have a coconut and cream cake. Uh, and then at the end you have the ice cream. So that's another quick look at the, the um, desserts. Right, a noisy dining hall, but uh, here's the, the continental bit of the breakfast. You've got your fruit segments and your cooked meats on this end. Little biscuits and uh, cheeses. Some of the cheeses are quite stinky. <laughs> you have your jams, your yogurts, and then you have like salads and stuff there. And on the end, you have your cereals. One thing that's very popular is the Nutella and the pancakes. And uh, as you can see, there's uh, people queuing for it. <clears throat> but then you have your little breads. Um, down your bean, your churros, your scrambled eggs. That's really creamy. But uh, I prefer the fried variety, so they're done fresh. Come down. You've got bacon. And you've got... Uh, English sausages. The English sausages are, um, they're not quite an English sausage, but they're not bad. And then you come on down, you have your selections of bread. And then you have your sauces. Right, just as you come out of the, the main room reception, main entrance there, uh, you've got steps downhill and you've got a, another entrance uh, to the back. But if you have a look, this is in quite a big hill. so. Uh, it's locally known as Cardiac Hill, and uh, I have to say, it's, uh, it's named after a reason. But uh, what will do, I'll give you a view of it from the, the bottom, and uh, it might look a bit steeper than it does from here, but at the moment from here it looks uh, not so steep, but it is steep. Right, this will be the main vehicle entrance, and uh, the pedestrians all head up that hill for Bonanza Square, and uh, there's lots and lots of nice places up there, uh, which I will show, but uh, that's... Um, it just keeps, keeps going uphill, but it's not quite as quite as steep as the Cardiac Hill. Right, this is Cardiac Hill, and uh, past that like orangey place there is where the hotel is. Now, it doesn't look anywhere like that on camera. It is so steep. But when you come down, and you go straight across the road, down that alleyway there, just down there, that takes you to the beach and uh, the Paseo. So, uh, you can't ask for anywhere anywhere better for, um, for location. Right, we're up in a breezy Bonanza Square, and uh, just by this church, so to, I must have a little investigation, see if I can get into that, that church, but uh, it looks very nice. But we're sitting in what is known as Niels Bar, N-I-L apostrophe S, Niels Bar, Irish Bar, 
and uh, the guy behind the bars is Latvian. Uh, so I don't really think it's, uh, it's owned by Irish, but uh, there we go. But it's actually quite nice around here. That's it in the sun, so it really is quite pleasant. If you can see the over in the horizon there, um, the, like the haze coming across, and that's the dust come from the Sahara. Uh, it happened the last time we were here, and it's, although that, that's quite, quite uh, not so dense, it's, there's a slight orange haze from it, and uh, it comes and lays a bit of dust around. It doesn't block the sun or anything, it just uh, makes the, 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 everything a little bit dusty. Um, I wouldn't, wouldn't like to have my car here because I would, uh, it would be, really be annoyed if my car was clean. But there you go, that's the Sahara dust coming across from Morocco. Right, that's this last day uh, heading home. Um, check out time is 11.30 and uh, well, we're, our flight is uh, I think about 9 o'clock ish. Um, we get picked up from here five past, 5 to 7. So uh, there you go, just a let you have a look at the Mediterranean in the background. Now that's refreshing, look at that, no queue for the to the check-in. Uh, last time we were here it was a huge queue and that now we have yeah, now we have a, a no queue. That's absolutely fabulous. Cl checked in in about, about three minutes. Right, mayhem coming through the airport. We got through passport control or got through the the security, absolutely no problem. It was it just took us ten minutes getting through it. And then we went to the uh, Burger King. That was mayhem. It was half an hour just to get your grub coming out again. So it was uh, a bit of a mayhem, but, but uh, it delayed us quite a bit. So we had to sort of rush down to our gate and then find out that the flight was delayed. So um, that was, uh, we're due to go out about half an hour after we're supposed to, but that's going to slide, I would think. But uh, yeah, here, that's the way of it. The joys of uh, Malaga Airport. Yeah, we've got about an hour of delay, so we're on the plane now. Uh, but uh, the, the little uh, bar unit, the rail plane, isn't working, so it's absolutely roasting. There's no work on, but that's uh, that's due to change when they start the, start the engine. So, well, we'll be alright after that. Right, it's gone from bad to worse. The power unit uh, provides the power to start the engines. Uh, has uh, broken down, so we're uh, sitting here. Oh, I'm sure they have other ones, but we're sitting here waiting for it to, to start our engines. So, uh, <laughs> like, it's not going too well this time. So, back home and uh, back to reality, and uh. A little showery day, well the odd shower and uh, generally cloudy and 13 degrees or 14 something like that, I'm not sure, but it wasn't particularly warm. But um, no, that was a, a good holiday. Um, the only thing was was the flights and I did mention it about the one going out with a kid that uh, behind me that kicked me the whole way, way to, uh, to Malaga. Uh, and on the way home it was exactly the same. And, well, it wasn't that. It wasn't exactly the same. It was uh, a screaming kid in, the, in the, the, the row behind us just screamed the whole way from Malaga to Belfast. Uh, but uh, I suppose that's the joys of holidaying and budget flights. But uh, we'll, we'll get over that. Um, on, also on the way home on the flight, there was um, a delay. The, the, the flight was delayed coming in. Uh, due to an air traffic control control restriction, and I believe this the, the French uh, air traffic control are at their usual, giving us uh, a little bit of uh, industrial uh, action at this time of year. But then when they landed, they had someone that needed medical attention, so that delayed it even further. And then when we got on the plane, the APU, the auxiliary power unit, wasn't working, so the the they couldn't uh, run the air conditioning and they were attached to a power unit provided by the airport uh, at, at, at the front of the plane and it started to struggle so they were going to have to get another one there so they couldn't start the engine to get the air condition on and the, the, the temperature just built and built and built and it was really really stifling really uncomfortable and uh, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a pleasant flight you know uh, I don't even think when they, when they got the, the, the engine started okay the aircon came on for a while but I think it went on and off intermittently on the way through the flight it was a horrendously uncomfortable flight uh, and then with, with screaming kid behind 
behind it, it just wasn't pleasant. I resorted to putting my headphones in and watching uh, Clarkson Farm on uh, <laughs> on on Prime Video that I downloaded. So I turned the volume up and hopefully you didn't hear it so too much. So that worked. Uh, hotel, hotel is lovely. One thing I must say uh, to anyone considering to book it, if you're any way infirm at all, don't book it. It's uh, on a, a hill which is. Uh, really really steep now it doesn't run for long but it is uh, a shock to the system but with you know happy enough to do it myself but if if you're in farm don't consider it it's not it, it, it would be uh, difficult and um, well as i say we, we managed it okay and didn't use it too often you know uh, we actually more went up the hill to bonanza square which uh, that hill was although it went for longer it wasn't quite as steep but uh, that, that was it. But a good time I had. We caught up with some friends we haven't seen in years, and uh, the, the Gordon and Shirley and uh, and Joe and. Uh, well, you guys don't know Joe and Helen, and, but uh, there's people we caught up with, and we had, you know, it was just so lovely to see them. So uh, that's it. A real good time. The, hopefully, you've got to see everything you need to. Any questions, head it up down below. Of course, I'll answer as, as quickly as I can. Uh, if you've liked this video, please hit a like. If uh, you like it and want to see more of this, uh, this mayhem, to, uh, just hit a subscribe. But for now, thanks for watching. Thanks for all for watching, especially if you've got to this bit in the video. But for now, it's Gary GSF signing off. Until the next time.